Hello designers, welcome back if you're subscribed and welcome here if you're new. It's been a long minute since I've posted a new video, but I'm sorry, life happens. The good news is I'm back and I'll work on being regular with posting new content. In today's video, I'll show you a nifty little trick that I discovered by accident. This trick will save you multiple hours and a lot of stressful moments spent trying to get a high quality detailed rendered image out of a large and intricate scene. This is especially useful if you have an old machine or if you're short on time and need quick results. Just make sure to like this video if you found it useful and subscribe for more content like this and more. So without any further ado, let's get started. To begin this video, I'll tell you a little story. About a year back, I created a scene with a nautical theme and the afternoon light coming in through the window. It's a pretty sight and I love this scene a lot. But due to my old machine and a V-Ray glitch, I couldn't render it to a resolution larger than 800 by 450, which is a shame. So I'm going to be using the sole render as a guinea pig for today's tutorial. It's quite blurry and you can't see the details as clearly as I'd like. It also has this glitch in the clouds that looks like a highlight burn. So before doing anything else to it, I'll just hop into Photoshop to blur this glitch out a bit. Now that it's all fixed up, I can finally show you what my little secret is. Just keep in mind that a raw render will give better results than a fully edited image. That makes this image a perfect candidate since it hasn't been through any extreme editing. This little technological miracle here is what's making my life easier. This is Gigapixel AI by Topaz Labs. The main purpose of this software is that it enhances and enlarges photos using AI technology that ensures that the details are preserved and not lost when processing a photo. Well, Renders are computer-generated photos, aren't they? Then there we go. You can try this software for free, and if you'd like to invest in it, then it will cost you less than a major computer upgrade, and it's way faster than actually buying a new processor, a couple of RAMs, or a graphics card, and getting them installed. I've made this investment, and it is well worth it. I can render an image, and enlarge it up to four times the original size in literally a few minutes. Now let's jump back to the app which has a very simple interface. All you have to do is drag and drop your render into the programs window and give it a second or a few seconds to load the preview. It depends on the amount of detail in the image. Now, now that it's all loaded up, can you see the difference already? It's so amazing. It's not perfect, but it's amazing. The preservation of detail is actually very much worth the money for me. Not to mention, I just saved a lot of hours spent on a lot of projects requiring high resolution renders that my old machine will take hours to make or just simply cannot do. The app or program is bringing out all the important details of this image. I mean, the difference between the original render and the preview is enormous. You can, of course, change the zoom to preview either a smaller or larger sample of the image You can also choose how many times you want to enlarge the image, whether it's once, twice, four, or six times, or go for a custom resolution. You can also uncheck the auto detect option and control the settings yourself. Right now, I want it to be a little bit noisier and a little bit rougher because I hate smooth renders. They just don't look realistic enough for me. There we go, it looks a tad better now. The couch is the most detailed object here because of the fabric patterns. Look how beautifully detailed everything is now. The fabric, the flooring, the wallpaper, bamboo, and painting, it's perfect. As if I just saved it from V-Ray itself. 
The original resolution of this image is 800 by 450, as I mentioned, which is at best a test render image. The new image will be 3200 by 1800, which is four times larger. Once you're satisfied with the results, you can click the save button and a clear and simple interface will come up. You can change your save directory as either source, which is the same folder as the original image, or choose a custom directory. You can also change the image's format to one of your choosing. Just know that it doesn't support a Vermig or a VRIMG image format because only V-Ray does that. I'll pick the destination where I want to save my image, which will be the desktop. You can also choose your color profile if you know your stuff. I'm clueless in this department, so I'll just keep it as sRGB. Once you click save, the program will start processing the image and doing its magic. Now let's take a look at the before and after. The results speak for themselves. It's stunning, it's time-saving, it's simple, and that's my favorite type of hack. Another great thing about this program is the batch function, where you can enlarge multiple images all at once. You can select the images you want to enlarge and drop them into the window. You can just select all the images that you want to enlarge and drop them into the window. From there, you can click each image to be previewed separately and tweak them to perfection. Once you're done, you just click Start Batch Processing to save them. And the interface isn't that much different from when editing a single image. You'll be able to add the scaling type to the file name and change the prefix and suffix of the image's titles, which isn't really that important. And if you don't want to mess around with it too much, you can just click Save and it will start working its magic on the images. Here's the before and after. I took the liberty of adjusting the brightness so the details are clearer and the results look better. Now that's it for today's video. If you have any requests or suggestions, you can drop them in the comments below because I read every single comment. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching and stay safe.